Okay, hello all. I am Jeremy Shipley. I am the communication liaison with the Allegheny County Sheriff Reserves. I am here to present you with a problem in our community and how we plan on solving it. We are a volunteer group of men and women from across all walks of life in Allegheny County of Pennsylvania. We share a common goal of serving our fellow citizens in the county. We do this by providing law enforcement services during community functions. We feel that the gap between law enforcement and the community along race lines needs to be addressed. Now the problem We have a serious issue at hand, not only in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, but in the nation. The divide between law enforcement and the community of a race has become very apparent, with the number of protests and riots becoming more and more common over the death of a minority member at the hands of law enforcement. The idea of race being an issue for law enforcement, although been in its past, does not mean it has to continue. There's a lack of transparency. between police and the community. While police conduct their investigations, the public want a quick arrest and charges filed before an investigation has even been occurred. There is a lack of trust. Community has issues of trust in law enforcement that law enforcement has their best interest in mind over that of the police. The gap between law enforcement and the community is largely due to lack of education. The communities only see what the police do on the news or on the street, but do not understand their job. They do not realize how many roles they are expected to step into on a daily basis. Depending on the situation, they are called upon to act as a counselor, social worker, firefighter, paramedic, amongst others. There is a lack of communication between the community and law enforcement. The community sees little positive aspects of what they do. There's lack of communi communicating the issues. The community at large also increases the divide between the citizenry and law enforcement. Lack of positive policing. Not every police interaction needs to be negative. Officers need the ability to empathize with the people they encounter. Now, solutions to the gap. Solutions to this gap. Youth mentorship. Start out with the youth. Get the future leaders of this country, of our county, involved in law enforcement. Maybe get them involved to where they actually will have a positive impact on the criminal justice system. Ride along programs. Great program to have. Of course, it takes money, it takes insurance. It takes time, and it also depends on the department's policy, whether they'll allow a ride-along or not. Some departments actually require you to do ride-alongs before you can even go to their academy, like the uh, Game Commission, Pennsylvania Game Commission. They require a ride-along as part of their deputy warden program, which is also a volunteer basis. Community meetings. That's to bring the community and law enforcement leaders, including up to the mayor, the DA's office, the sheriff, chief of the police departments, all together with their community and community leaders to discuss how they can increase transparency and address the issues that the community has with law enforcement directly. Community activity, academy days. Allow the community to actually attend the academy to see how law enforcement officers are trained, whether it's the sheriff's department, police officers, down to the state constables, including even your PA Act 235 holders and security officers, because they still have to undergo some of the same training as law enforcement, not to the same extent but to some extent. School assembly presentations allow our officers to actually go out into the schools, 
learn the school days. Talk to the kids. Show them presentations on what they do on a day to day basis. Explain how traffic stops work. Explain different aspects of the law, whether it's criminal law, civil law, or even constitutional law. These are things that we could educate our youth on so they have a better understanding of how law enforcement deals with these things on a daily basis. And then also going out to groups like um, Skills USA VICA when they have their conferences all across the state, and they're in every state. Allow law enforcement to go to them. Allow them to put out presentations from former Skills USA VICA members to explain why they went into law enforcement or what they can do to make it better to increase their own activities in their own communities. And again, with the whole transparency, let there be more communication between the community and law enforcement at large. That includes these youth group presentations, school assemblies, community academy days, community meetings, ride-along programs, youth mentorship. Start with the kids and work your way up. Now, the reason why we feel that we are the solution is because we are community-based. We are volunteers from inside of Allegheny County. It doesn't matter the municipality. It doesn't matter the township, we are all from inside one county. That is part of the requirements for the sheriff reserves. We understand our communities and what their issues are. If we can come together as a group, along with the community leaders, we should be able to come up with a solution on how to make things better and how to drop the divide between law enforcement and community. Of course, we are all local residents. We all deal with the public in and out of uniform. Regardless of your job, you in some way have to deal with the public, whether you're out in a store or whether you work at a job where you are involved in retail or even security, or even if you are a law enforcement officer, you are still gonna be out amongst the people in your own communities and you understand their issues. We are all volunteers. So that means that this is for us, this is our way of getting back to our communities is to serve the fellow residents that we have. And we're all committed to serving the community in general. We all feel a need to be there for one another. It is a brotherhood, it is a family. And we believe that we can do better and we strive to do better across all walks of life, personal, public, business, it doesn't matter. We are all striving to be better people and better humans, as well as better neighbors. Now what we need, we need more training. We are not all trained to be problem solvers. We can all empathize with our fellow man, but we need to be able to, we need better training as far as to understanding mental illness, to understanding people in general. We also need training to help implement these programs as far as the community outreach programs, such as the youth, being able to talk to the youth and understanding and meeting them on their level instead of asking them to come up to our level. We need equipment to be able to do this. Mostly that means office equipment. Again, a lot of us are volunteers, so a lot of the equipment we already have, we already own. So we can put our own money to it, to it as well, but to be able to get more funding would be a great boost in how many people and how far we could reach. Public relations. We need to be able to get the news 
whether it be a reporter from the local paper or to get put on the local news at night to show the positive steps we're taking to decrease this line of division between law enforcement and the community. Regardless of the reason why it's there, we need these positive influences to be shown across not just our county, but the nation as a whole. Advertising, we need to get these programs and we need to be able to get them, get the word of mouth out. We need to be able to advertise for them so that anybody who wants to show up can. That means, whether it means going to the news, again, as with public relations, or if it means even as far as putting an ad in the newspaper, we need to be able to advertise. Even if it means putting up a billboard along Route 51, 119, not 119, but 51, Sawmill Run Boulevard, all those roads, including the parkway, anything to get the word out. Uniforms. Uniforms is a big one, only because we need to look our best when we're out doing these things. You can tell if somebody has a uniform and they take pride in how they look. This is what we need. We need to be able to look our best, to look sharp, look professional. In conclusion, we are a group of volunteers that wants to try to make a less of a line and make things transparent between the community and law enforcement. And we have the ways of solving between the youth mentorship, ride alongs, and presentations. So help us with getting this done. Thank you and enjoy your day.